WMC Action News 5's chief investigator, Andy Wise, is live with what he has uncovered. Andy. I've uncovered a federal law that essentially allows auto dealers and private sellers to roll back odometers. Yeah, that's what I said. It's a legal ticket to tamper with the odometers of vehicles that are 10 years old or older, essentially and deceptively inflating their values with a loophole so large you can drive this pickup truck through. We're done. Back. How many more people are you ripping off? He's off, leaving behind this pickup truck. Somebody's selling this vehicle and potentially ripping somebody off. With a rolled back odometer. Is he selling that truck for you? Yeah. As the car's dealer at his You're front welcome. door in his underwear. Who rolled it back? I don't have any idea what anybody did. Hides behind a federal exemption that's allowing auto dealers all over the region to tamper with odometers. So the abuse of the exemption is happening all over the region. All over the region. We're we done. Back. Let's start from the beginning <laughs> with this Craigslist ad for the truck, a 2006 Ford F-150 in Tupelo, Mississippi, $7,750, only 129,000 miles. I'm calling about the ad and the Craigslist for that Ford F-150. I called the seller. This guy calls himself Jeff. That's right then. That's right then. He let us come to Tupelo, see the truck, check the dash. 128,763 miles. How long have you owned it, Jeff? I, I'm not. I've sent it for a friend of mine. Okay. He's a dealer. Chris Basso here is a friend of mine. He's with Carfax, the vehicle history company. And its records revealed at last report that Ford F-150 had over 188,000 miles. 60,000 miles more than what's showing on the odometer. So it appears that that odometer may have been tampered with or rolled back. That I have no idea, because okay. I know it's exempt from miles. He's actually right. Federal law and rules passed in the 80s require a seller to provide a written mileage disclosure to a prospective car buyer. However, vehicles 10 years old and older are exempt from the written disclosure requirements. And they'll hide behind that. Auto dealer Randy Payton is a Mississippi member of the Greater Memphis Auto Dealers Association. He says private sellers and small time dealers all over Northeast Mississippi are using the federal exemption on older vehicles to roll back their odometers. They'll roll them back and they'll take that exemption of 10 years or older and they can turn around and retail the car and get a full value for it. Basso says that means the value of this 2006 Ford F-150 with 60,000 miles rolled back and priced at $77.50 is actually worth about $47.50. With this truck, the difference is at least $3,000. So rolling back that mileage artificially inflates the value of, of this truck. Okay. Faced with the facts, Jeff here walks over to the truck, shuts the lid, then shuts us out. Is okay, may I ask who the dealer is again? That's all we're going to. I, I mean, I, I just want to be able to have a direct dialogue with him, that's all. We're, going, we're done. Just because right. it's exempt doesn't mean you can't we're we can done. Back. We're not done yet. Documents and auto sources led us to the truck's licensed dealer. I want to give you an opportunity to try to explain it. Uh, because I don't have an explanation. Danny Coker, the guy in his underwear on his front porch in Blue Springs, Mississippi. Yeah, I'm just asking questions because I'm concerned about you, the you're seat. You're something that's none of your business. It's my, it's my business if it's deceiving people who are potential buyers of that truck. Then you are a good person. It sounds like you're a little bit uneasy about selling that truck. No, I'm not uneasy at it. Buyers, you're the one who's uneasy at it. I'm, I was sleeping fine. Car buyers don't fall asleep on auto dealers using a federal exemption to roll back odometers. Shop at reputable dealerships, check the Carfax report, take it for a test drive, and have a mechanic inspect that vehicle before you buy it. Now, I contacted the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to find out why the feds are keeping a mileage disclosure loophole from the 80s still on the books, creating this exemption problem. And a spokesperson said, in those days, vehicles didn't last as long as they do today, and there was little odometer fraud involving older vehicles. NHTSA recognizes that today's vehicles last much longer and are increasingly becoming the target of odometer fraudsters. 
And she says NHTSA is now considering eliminating that exemption to re reduce the risk of odometer fraudsters. And in the meantime, you got to pull that Carfax report on a used car purchase. Andy Wise, WMC, Action News 5.